Raymond Abbas, widely known as Hush Puppy and his accomplice on internet fraud, or Laleko Ponle, also known as Woodbury, have been extradited to the United States after the arrest in Dubai in June. The disclosure was made in a statement by the Dubai police on Thursday, in which the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigations extended its gratitude to the UAE crime watchdog for its role in apprehending and extraditing the two suspects. Hush Poppy, Woodbury and 10 others were arrested in an operation tagged Fox Hunt after they were accused of committing crimes outside the UAE, including money laundering, cyber fraud, hacking, criminal impersonating, scamming individuals, banking fraud and identity theft. The director of Dubai CID, Brigadier Jamal Salem Al Jalaf, said that the raid that led to his arrest resulted in the confiscation of incriminating documents of a planned fraud on a global scale worth $435 million. Joining us live is former assistant director of the Department of State Services, DSS, Dennis Amakre. Thank you very much for joining us. Do we have you, sir? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm with you. So tell us what the implication of this arrest is. Uh, you know, this uh, arrest shows the uh, result of diligent investigation that has been carried out uh, over the period of uh, four months. And um, I think uh, it is, it is uh, instructive even for people that are criminally minded, uh, that uh, they could enjoy their loot, they could uh, run as much as they could, uh, but at the end, they are going to be arrested. Um, the, the, this extradition, do you see um, an effective carriage of justice uh, in this matter now that they are no longer in the UAE? Yeah, because um, if... Uh, if they were in the UAE, they'd be living there. And um, of course, they felt that um, they could get away with what they were doing. Of course, they, unknown to them, the FBI had always been on their back. Uh, if you remember very well, in Nigeria, they were also under investigation. The EFCC uh, chairman has come out to tell us that uh, they are on his radar. But uh, much was not done. Uh, they are one of their associates, uh, Monfa, who was also arrested, but later um, released uh, because of lack of evidence. But um, right now, you know, that diligent investigation in Dubai has been to result in uh, the arrest. And when they go there, they are going to now face the, uh, the, the court system. Because before the FBI will take you to court, they have all the facts and figures against you. And I think uh, there will be a delivery of justice there. Okay, let me ask this. How impressed are you by the speediness with which, or how speedily, if that's a proper English, how um, speedily this um, investigation was carried out and the arrest was made? Uh, we understand it's three months and here in Nigeria, the EFCC, um, on several occasions, um, talked to this man, Hosh people even arrested him and then released him. Uh, what are some of the lessons that um, we need to take away? You know, uh, that is a big lesson in Nigeria, and we should start learning from it. Uh, our justice system needs to, you know, come to the proper footing with international standards. Because these same guys have been in Nigeria, like I said earlier, and nothing happened to them. They believe that they could use their connections. Some of them know uh, high government officials, and then they are being covered, and a phone call will release them. Uh, but when they go out there, and they're going to be, be arrested. You know, if you remember very well, we also have a governor that was uh, let go in Nigeria, but when he got to Dubai, um, he was arrested and jailed. So these are, the, these are the, uh, the carriage of justice that we have to learn about. And um, then, the, of course, the, this... it is done with okay. serious... Uh, go ahead. Finish your thoughts, sir. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, it is, uh, it is uh, a basis of serious investigation. Because if you, if you don't do your investigations very well, when you go to court, 
uh, these guys also have the money to, uh, you know, um, get any kind of lawyer they want, and uh, the case will be thrown out. Um, what, what, one one thing the that the Dubai police talked about um, that helped their investigation was his online presence on Instagram, I believe. Um, what do you make of these people? We still have a number of people with questionable affluence um, on Instagram, and most of them have verified uh, status. What are, I mean, what worries you about this show of um, our affluence? Is it that these people are deliberately asking to be arrested, or is it some sort of nemesis finding a way to compel them to be caught for the crimes that they are committing? Uh, thank you for that uh, question. You know, in Nigeria, many, many of these criminals believe they can get away with it because, you know, they can manipulate the system and uh, nothing can happen to them. They can flaunt their wealth and everything and nothing happens. Uh, the EFCC is there. Uh, you see somebody whose uh, um, uh, means of livelihood you cannot uh, uh, tell. And then, of course, he's driving a, a Rolls Royce or a Lamborghini. I, I think there is nothing stopping the EFCC from stopping such people and then finding out what they, what they, where they get the money or putting them on their radar, whereby they can watch them, put good surveillance on them, and then, of course, find out where they're getting the money. So you, you are, we now a kind of society we allow it. And then, of course, in the social circle, you have them being the, uh, the top guys, uh, the, the, the celebrated guys, all over parties and uh, in, in social media and everywhere. I think this is, a less, this is a lesson in our country that you have to you know, be accountable for whatever you're doing. We are allowing corruption and all these fraudulent activities to take over whatever we're doing in the country. All right. Thank you very much, Sarah, for joining us on the news and sharing uh, your thoughts on the matter. Thank you for having me.